All right, what's going on, y'all? This is Reggie Winston. Thank you for checking this video out. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something really sexy, something amazing, something that all barbers want to hear. I'm lying. I'm going to talk to you about insurance. This channel is all about making barbers better. So if you haven't already, please take the opportunity right now to subscribe to this channel. I want to continue to put out some good content. It might not be the most flashy stuff, but it's going to be information that I know that you can use, all right? And sometimes we'll have some fun, do some other stuff. But in this quick video today, I'm going to talk about insurance, insurance, insurance. A lot of people uh, think about going into business for themselves, a lot of barbers. They want to open up their full-fledged barbershop and have other people working there for them and charging booth rent or whatever they want to do, right? A lot of people don't consider insurance. When you go to a, uh, when you want to go lease a building or lease some, a place, or you want to go into business, have a brick and mortar, you want to lease, you have to have general liability insurance. And a lot of times they make you have at least a million dollars of coverage towards that building. Um, right here I have a policy. I just had to do some shopping around recently just to make sure I was getting the best price. And I found another company that was a little bit cheaper than my last. Uh, right here, let me make sure I'm saying this right. I went up from a million dollars. I went up to $2 million. Medical expenses, it covers $5,000 for any one person. Damage to premise, rent it to you, $50,000. Um, personal and advertising injury limit, $2 million. Deductibles, $1,000. Business liabilities, $2 million. Business liability, general aggregate, I'm not sure what that means, is $4 million. Products completed, operations aggregated, $4 million. So... I got plenty of insurance that's going to cover me in case something happened. And when I say in case something happened, it could be a natural disaster. It could be a gas line that blow up. It can be water damage. It can be fire. It could be someone smashing through the front window. It can be someone trying to break, break and enter the back door. I can get all these things fixed because I have insurance. And if you're going to rent a building, you're going to have to have insurance. A lot of people that are written to you don't want to hear the sob story of this happened, this happened, I can control it. That's what you're supposed to have insurance for. And that type of coverage I just got, man, I pay for my insurance flat, straight for the whole year. I don't do the month-to-month -month thing. And this insurance for the whole year for that $2 million of coverage is about 540 bucks for that insurance. Now, this is an expense, right? This is nothing I'm going to get back in return if I don't use this. This, this is insurance. Now, it, was, it will be a tax write-off. It will go on my on my accounting, it would go as an expense. That doesn't mean I get the money back, all right? A lot of people have this... <laughs> a lot of people have this idea that when you write something off, you get the money back at the end of the year. That's not how it works. If this is just saying this is money you didn't make because you had to spend it. This, your business didn't make this amount because you had to spend it on the business, all right? So if you made $1,000 for the year... And this expense is five hundred forty. You'll subtract that, and that's all you would be taxed on is what's left. So that's like four hundred and sixty bucks. All right. So instead of being taxed on a thousand, you only get taxed on the four sixty. So trust me, you don't get money back because you spent money. I'm so sick and tired of hearing people who really ain't business owners say that stupid mess. They think everything. Oh, it's tax. Sorry, though, it's tax. Bro, you're still an expense. This money you didn't make. All right. But consider that um, one of the things I want you to think about when you're going to get insurance is if I can recommend anything, don't go to just a specific company. All right. It'll take you days to call around different companies, get different quotes. What I did is went to an agent who can represent numerous companies. They can shop around themselves and get me the best uh, quote. I don't pay them to shop around. But once I sign the line and I purchase some insurance, the insurance company pays the agents, kind of just like selling a home, right? You don't have to pay the realtor to help you find the house. They get paid at the end of the deal. So the agent, he looked around for me and he searched over 20 different companies. I don't know how many cups I'm making that up, but he did the work of finding me the best rate so I can continue to do what I want to do. So if I were you, that would be my word of advice when you're going to get general liability insurance. Have an agent search around for you so you don't have to spend your time doing that. They'll come to you with the best three options and you pick from there. Like I said, I got $2 million of coverage at $540 for the entire year. 
you're going to need it, all right? So that's one of the things I want you to think about is general liability insurance. When you want to go into business for yourself and you want to have your own establishment, your own barbershop, all right? If you booth renting, I don't think you have to worry about that. You, there are other insurances you can purchase, but this is specifically for that person who is interested in going to open up their own brick-and-mortar barbershop, all right? This is Ray Winston, and together we're going to make barbers better. I hope y'all liking the new setup. I'm getting there. It's not complete, but this will do for now at Reggie underscore Winston on Instagram, Facebook, Reggie Winston, the influential barber. And we're doing this together, y'all. Peace.